think about the industry that that we work in, and I don't mean like gadgets, you know, just the you know the technical IT industry. What do you think is cool technology aside from Cloudian? Because we're both going to agree that object storage is is way cool. Aside from that, what do you think is cool technology? Oh, what have I what have I seen recently? Um... Yeah, it's interesting because I think a lot of it is just sort of, it's almost, you know, I, I started off at a bank and they were big mainframe, um, as a lot of, you know, banks probably still are to a sure, degree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I think a lot of the stuff that you see have rolled through the, you know, because I've been in the IT industry really ever since the advent of the open systems mm. space, you know, the Windows and the Unix and then Linux. And all of the stuff that we see as cool stuff is rolling from what was originally the sure. core capabilities of mainframe. Mm -hmm. So all of the virtualization stuff is, you know, came from mainframe. All of the HSM, mm -hmm. you know, the managing data came from, from mainframe. So we sort of seem to be bouncing between, you know, you could argue a big VMware is, to, is a form of centralization. It is. Um, so it's... You know, and then even the next wave, the next wave of stuff that I've been seeing from some of the big hardware vendors is the, oh, what, what do they call it? It's where they're, they're splitting the component of a server into independent boxes. Uh, the Containers. Server. No, but at the physical level. So you'll have a box. Instead of oh, having a I... server, RAM and CPU and storage in it, network cards, you will basically have an NVMe network where you'll have a box full of CPUs, a box full of GPUs, a box full of RAM. A box full of, you know, fast storage, really? a box full of slow storage, a box full of network connectivity. And essentially using a container-based model, you know, you can say, well, I create my my application and I want a little bit of CPU, a little bit of RAM, and, you know, and then you're pulling it out of these dedicated boxes and then you're sort of sitting there in this sort of ether, really, you know, with the bits really cool. components from everywhere. And that's sort of almost that it's it's... That next level of, of virtualization, um, where the hardware, because that's for the I mean, you know, I've seen um, some some slides from Western Digital and Seagate both looking at, um, and I'd love to remember what they call this. I was going to um, say, I'm going to dig into that. That you know, yeah, I think that but that's, that's kind of cool. Yeah, um, I like that. Um, and I think it's just that bridge between the cloud. I think what VMware are trying to do. Hmm. Um, you know, bridging the on the on-prem, you know, workloads up into cloud and being able to sort of move stuff around. You know, AWS, for example, is kind of doing it the other way around. They're bringing the outposts into the data center now. They can bridge. You can burst out into the cloud to their unlimited mm -hmm. platform. And VMware is doing the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. You've been able to sure. put it across a bunch of different cloud providers. But I think that's really where the, you know, ever since the cloud hybrid cloud sort of discussion started off. That's really what people want is the ability to, you know, be able to take their their application right. You know, it's it's your end. I need a lot. I need that to run twice as fast as it does. Put it, you know, seamlessly put it in the cloud. Run twice, you know, five times as fast, and then it's finished. Pull it bring down. it back down. Mm -hmm. And and that's where I think we're, we're beginning to get to that. The difficulty will still lie in in data management. Where's the data going to sit? Mm -hmm. Is it you know? cloud and because you know when you've got especially what we're dealing with which is multiple petabytes these days it takes a lot to move that amount of data yeah uh, a long time to move that amount of data so it's yeah it's, yeah there's a lot of interesting stuff going on that uh, and i mean i like the, the ai stuff and the and the machine mm -hmm. learning I've, mm -hmm. you know worked on a couple of projects around that you know and that's still early days but um there's a lot of work has to be done on an AI. The, the machine learning process is very intensive and can takes a lot of manpower, takes a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so anywhere that can sort of the ways that are speeding that up, I think is very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to be able to train the machine. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I read mean, a lot of sci-fi and the AI thing scares the bejesus out of me. Um, yeah. A lot it's of sci-fi. It's coming. Well, yeah, I mean, I think about the self-driving. is a positive you, thing. Yeah, well, you think about the self-driving car. I can remember not too long ago, as I'm sure you do too. Oh, they'll never have those. Hell, they're everywhere. They're delivering packages. We have people that drones drop packages off at people's front door. Who would have thought, you know? But, sure. man, it's crazy, yeah.